Legend tells of a mythical fighter, one Ben Funky Askren. Not much is known, but some say he was once welterweight champion of the 1FC Mixed Martial Arts promotion. Whispers of an undefeated record and four successful title defenses can be heard. However, records do not have substantial evidence to back these claims. We do know that while in the UFC, Ben Askren fell victim to Jorge Masvidal, who now holds the record for fastest knockout in UFC history. Askren also fell victim to YouTube blogger slash Disney star Jake Paul. Ben Askren retired shortly after and has not been heard from since. We can only sit and wonder if there is truth to legend. Continuing our investigation into mythical fighters, we turn our attention to the Predator. Some of the more radical fans claim to remember the man whose punching power was said to be equivalent to being hit by a Ford Escort. Stories of a man working the sand mines and surviving the scorching African deserts on his way to freedom are echoed in the history of the UFC. However, when asked to comment, UFC President Dana White denied the existence of any man who fits this description. It's rumored John Jones, former UFC light heavyweight champion, was to fight the so-called Predator for the UFC heavyweight title, but no such fight ever occurred. Instead, Jones challenged Cyril Gaon to secure the heavyweight title. Some fans claim Cyril himself fought the Predator a year prior, but upon review of our records, we are unable to confirm nor deny the existence of the one they call Francis Ngannou. Next up on our mythical fighter list, fans seem to recall a fighter by the name of El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Niche groups of fans will tell you of a time when El Kukui was on track to dethrone the former UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ferguson's alleged win streak began in 2013 and lasted for almost seven years. During this time, he's said to have defeated some of the biggest names in the UFC lightweight division, including Edson Barboza, Rafael Dos Anjos, and Kevin Lee. His unorthodox fighting style, which combined wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and striking, made him a difficult opponent for anyone to face. Fate would sadly deal El Kukui a bad hand, and he would not return to the octagon until UFC 249 set on Saturday, May 9, 2020, where he was set to face Justin Gaethje. Tony was outclassed and suffered his first loss since his so-called streak began. He has continued a steady decline with losses to names such as former champion Charles Oliveira, Michael Chandler, and Stockton's own Nate Diaz. It is unknown if fans truly remember a legendary 12-fight win streak from mythical fighter El Kukui, or if it's simply a case of overactive imaginations. Our records can neither confirm nor deny these reports. Arguably the most notorious fighter on our list, our next entry needs no introduction. Mystic Mac, the Irishman. In his early UFC career, McGregor quickly gained a reputation for his brash and confident personality, as well as his striking ability. He won his first UFC fight in April 2013, and went on to win his next four fights, all by knockout or TKO. In July 2015, McGregor defeated Chad Mendez to win the interim UFC featherweight championship. McGregor's most famous fight came in December 2015, when he faced long-reigning UFC featherweight champion Jose Aldo. McGregor knocked out Aldo in just 13 seconds, setting a UFC record for the fastest knockout in a title fight. McGregor then became the first fighter in UFC history to hold titles in two weight classes simultaneously, when he defeated Eddie Alvarez to win the UFC lightweight championship in November 2016. After taking a hiatus from the UFC to pursue a boxing match with Floyd Mayweather Jr., McGregor returned to the octagon in October 2018, but lost to Khabib Nurmagomedov in a highly publicized bout. Fans are left to wonder if Mystic Mac will ever return. Our records indicate an upcoming fight with an individual under the alias Iron. Only time will tell if the notorious one can rebound from his recent string of bad luck. Next up, we have a duo. A pair of brothers whom hail from Stockton, California. Fan favorites and fighters through and through, Nick and Nate Diaz have been a part of the UFC since the mid-2000s. Nick signing in 2004, and Nate signing in 2007 after competing in The Ultimate Fighter. The brothers are known for their striking and Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills, as well as their aggressive fighting style and controversial personality. In part one of this entry, we'll explore the career of Nick Diaz. 
During his time in the UFC, Nick competed in both the welterweight and middleweight divisions and amassed a record of 26 wins, 9 losses, and 2 no contests. He was a two-time title challenger in the welterweight division and was known for his memorable fights against the likes of Robbie Lawler, George St. Pierre, and Anderson Silva. Unfortunately, Nick was given a five-year suspension after trace amounts of marijuana were found in his system after a routine substance check. He would not return to the Octagon until 2021, where he faced Robbie Lawler in a long-awaited rematch. Nick showed himself to be a shell of what he once was, as Robbie ruthlessly showcased how much his skills had grown since their last meeting in 2004. Fans are left wondering what could have been if the suspension never occurred. Part 2 of Or Diaz Brother Special, we look at the career of Nate. He first appeared on the UFC scene as a contestant on the Ultimate Fighter 5 reality show in 2007, where he won the tournament by submitting Manuel Gamburian in the finals. He has faced many of the UFC's top fighters, including Tony Ferguson, Anthony Pettis, and current UFC welterweight champion Leon Edwards, to name a few. Diaz challenged Benson Henderson on December 8, 2012, for the UFC lightweight championship. Diaz would ultimately fail to secure a victory over Henderson and would never receive another title opportunity. One of Diaz's most memorable moments in the UFC was his short notice, upset victory over Conor McGregor at UFC 200 in 2016, where he submitted the Irish superstar in the second round. The two had a rematch at UFC 202, where Diaz lost a close fight to the judges' scorecards. Diaz's last fight was against Tony Ferguson, and has since retired and cut ties with the UFC. Fans are left wondering if this is the end of Nate Diaz's storied career.